So, the first thing you're going to notice on the map is that the sand expanded a lot more. And if you go to Dusty District, it did another big impact on it. Now the sand now stretches all the way to these telephones. You can also find three new, well, you can find two new talkable characters too. One of them is in Dusty District right here, and the other one you can find right here, like somewhere right here in Creepy Cabins, I think. The first one is the gnome. He talks about how he evacuated here since, uh, yeah, his work is honestly uh, covered in sand. And the other talkable character in Creepy Cabins, if you talk to him, he's the first talkable character that gives you a weapon. And in this case, it is a green tactical shotgun. Tells you that there's nothing like a little camping, and he gives you this as, grat as a gift of his gratitude. The Bucket Man has moved once again, and you can see, if you talk to him again, tells you that he's still on a quest to find a new home, and that he's resting here for a week. And also, yeah, you can now light campfires. Let's see here. If you go over to Tiny Town, as you can see, just like the Jonesies and Bears from last time, they expanded once more. They now took over Big Shots. As in a complete tower, an entire lab research facility. And they put some cargo stuff from here, and they put more, whatever this is, behind the gas station. If you go over to Frenzy Factory, you can see that the one of the trucks were trying to pick up some cargo stuff, but accidentally flipped and knocked the stuff they are trying to pick up, uh, flipped over. That has been weekly updates, and see you next week.